Hey guys, what's up? A couple of you guys have been asking me about my uh, water material. I'll do the uh, edge foam effect I got going on here when it goes towards the shore. And uh, yeah, since that's not really that difficult, I figured I'd do a quick tutorial for you guys and uh, help you figure it out. Alright, as always, let's start off by going to your materials, whatever you want to go. Right click, go new material. Let's name it edge foam test, I guess. Or you can just use whatever water material you're already using, so not that big of a deal. Alright, really quick, just change that to translucent. That to, I think I use subsurface usually when I do this. Not that it's important, but whatever. I'm zoning out, I'm sorry. This lack of sleep does this to you. But yeah, anyways, the uh, actual setup for this isn't all that complicated. So first thing first, let's uh, hold L and click. You'll pop up a lerp. Plug that into your base color. And then from there we can hold 3 and click. That pops up a constant 3. Let's double click and give it a nice red color. Plug that into A. Move him up a bit. And then if you want to, you can just control W and copy that. Plug that into the B. And let's make this guy blue. Again, whatever blue you like, it doesn't really matter. Alright, now for the alpha. This is where it's, uh, might be seem complicated at first, but don't worry, it's not that bad. Type in def, and then you look for def fade right here. Now plug that in. And now this is, this is what you get the, f the uh, fade distance or whatever, which is important. Set this to, let's say, 100 or whatever. And then, uh, Hit apply, save it. Wait for it to finish compiling. Be happy your computer didn't just freeze. And then, uh, I'm already assuming if you're doing this tutorial you have a water plane, so make sure you have one of those for this. And uh, yeah, anyways, uh, click and drag your material onto it. Give it a second for it to compile again. Because we like being slow today. Alright, and you see there's the uh, edge effect already going on there. But if you noticed over here, I have like uh, little tiny bubbles and I have more kind of surf looking texture farther out. You can uh, do this a step further if you wanted to and go over here and um, basically what you're doing is just adding another lerp to this. Let's move this back some. Lerp. Plug the other lerp into, I think it was B. And then let's break that one. Alt click to break the uh, link. Alright, then uh, hold 3 and click again. Get another constant. Plug that into A. Let's make this guy green. And now from there. Make a copy of the depth fade again, control W. Click and drag over here. And let's set the fade distance to something else. Uh, let's go 32. Now plug this into your base color. And then apply, save. Again, hope your computer doesn't freeze. Any minute now. <laughs> All right. Cough autosave. And now you see there's a uh, green blending going wrong, going along with the uh, red. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you can uh, use that to get your uh, edge foam going in. And. Uh, yeah, with that aside, I think that's it. So uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys later, and as always, have fun messing with Unreal.